Hello everyone, I hope this year has been good to you so far. I'm starting my new job tomorrow, so today I thought it would be a great idea to show you how I'm gonna set up my new bullet journal for work. This week I picked up the book goal again. So the goal of the week was to plan how I'm gonna revise the horror novel. But starting this new job as a writer and video creator at the game company Shark Mob, I thought that I would need some way to plan my time. And as I really like bullet journaling, um, it became kind of natural. I thought I would go with something cheap, but when I went to the shop I saw this one. And it's a Leuchturm 1917 a special edition one with red dots and uh, working at the company called shark mob uh, with a red logo like i i had to buy this one with its uh, like shark gray uh, cover and uh, like red sides and uh, dots it's an a5 with the 27 times 38 dots so it's uh, bigger than my regular one but it's just gonna be on my desk basically so the size is not a problem like when i'm carrying it around uh, and uh, i will need that space for my notes and planning those of you that have seen my regular bullet journal know that i like to go pretty minimalistic so I'm using the same approach for this one. I'm gonna use as few lines as possible, so I don't need to have a ruler with me. I'm uh, going to use uh, a four color pen. So I just have one pen and only four colors. And uh, structure wise, I'm going back to bullet journal basics. So it's all pretty simple. I think this will last about one year. And uh, now I'm gonna show you how it looks. So this is the bullet journal, and uh, this is my key. This is how I work with uh, tasks, and uh, these are my how I mark deadlines. This is like a final deadline, and these are the deadlines on its way to the final deadline. I have also chosen to use a red color for tasks or events that I'm not crossing out but it's made to migrate to another part of uh, the bullet journal and uh, then I also made a key for how I'm um, writing the letters uh, in the bullet journal so just for reference this is a week overview and here I have all the weeks and I can see in what week each month starts and here I will also have like uh, different kind of projects uh, like the big ones at work and show like uh, where the deadlines are and milestones and uh, things like that this is the future log where I write stuff down that will happen in the future and uh, this was my first mistake, which uh, always is frustrating when you do the first mistake, but I think it's an important one. So I welcome it because there will be mistakes. So just live with it and embrace them. If I would redo this one, maybe I would not have had January as it's January at the moment. And now I still have stuff I can write there. Uh, and here you see the red color also but uh, I could have started with with the February and uh, then this one could have been for 2020 instead so I have stuff to migrate into next year but I think this will work too this is uh, the monthly log or overview so here is like my uh, plan for what I'm gonna do uh, the different days and also when stuff uh, comes up in January I will mark it down here so 
yeah, I have like a general overview. This is my daily log. So I start with uh, marking down which week it is. I have uh, the weekdays here and uh, I will write down uh, how I'm planning this week and uh, stuff that shows up I will write here on the side. And then I will migrate that into the day when that day comes. Here we have uh, the month and we have the current day. This is my first work day, so this will just like continue. And uh, I have tasks here and I will have meetings and events. And uh, yeah, it will be like a regular daily log, basically. I have put my collections in the back of the bullet journal. So this is my uh, habit tracker. So I have uh, all days that can be in a month. And I have all the months here. And uh, then uh, I'm gonna track the amount of fruit I eat. Uh, more than one is good. And uh, one is okay and zero is pretty bad. And the opposite goes for my cookie amount. And uh, then I have the amount of hours I'm standing up and uh, minutes I'm walking. And then around all those uh, squares I'm having a big one which uh, will mark down like how the workday have felt. If, if it was harmonic, if it was pretty bus busy or if it was very stressful. So it will be like a square around here and then I will mark all those habits in those four uh, squares. Um, and this one looks pretty incomplete and that is because it is. Uh, this will be um, a tracker for projects uh, we're working on or for a game company it's usually like sprints. So my idea here is that I will have uh, certain tasks that I will have to complete until uh, the deadline and uh, this will be like uh, uh, part goals that I need to fulfill um, so I'm having like two lines to be able to have that in the so I will be able to see my progress then when I'm done I'm uh, gonna mark this one and when it's approved uh, by the directors then I will mark this one. So we'll see the progress of this current sprint or project. And down here it's like a plan. So I have color coded them uh, so that they relate to each other. The, these are the weeks and uh, I'm currently not sure like how many tasks or how many weeks uh, we will work on the next sprint. Um, but here I can like mark down uh, when I'm gonna work with uh, which tasks, so I will have like a visualization. Yeah, and here is the index, and uh, there, there's nothing special about it. This is the pen I'm using. So you see, it's one of those pens that were so fun to have in school. Uh, I have uh, black, I have red, I have blue, and I have green. I will mainly be working with black and red and um, like I will be pretty sparse in decorating but I think this will be the kind of decoration I do. I'm not sh completely sure uh, what kind of patterns I will use and maybe it will change. I really liked uh, this one and I also enjoy this one. So that's my bullet journal for work which you probably never gonna see again because it will be filled with all kinds of secrets uh, but if you have any tips or comments then uh, please uh, leave them below so regarding the book I've been uh, reading a lot on uh, how to revise and structure and uh, work with form in books I mainly been reading this book the story grid by Sean Coyne Kane well, you have his name there. He's an editor and this is his advice on writing and revising uh, books and uh, scripts. It's a really big book. It's larger than 
it needs to be and most of the information is online but I really like to have a book to read uh, when I'm writing. The other one is William Strunk Jr. and E.B. White's The Elements of Style which Stephen King talks a lot about in his book on writing. It's filled with advice on form and uh, grammar and uh, style uh, and uh, not as big as uh, this one. Both of them have been good to read and I've already gotten new ideas for my horror novel and when that happens I know I have a good book in, in one way or another. Film-wise I watched uh, Lady Bird this week. I thought it was a decent movie um, but the theme was kind of all over the place. You could see what they wanted to say but I would have really liked them to instead of having this really fast pace uh, to dive deeper into the stuff that I was interested in but uh, the overall atmosphere was uh, really nice. Record-wise, I haven't played any music this week, but I rediscovered David Sundstrom Overdrive's album Go Down, uh, which is uh, very nostalgic to me. Game-wise, I don't have much to say. Uh, I haven't even been playing any games this week. And that's also something I've been thinking about, that I will probably not have much uh, game progress uh, in the upcoming year. Uh, although I'm working like 32 hours per week at least uh, on a game um, but we'll see maybe one day in the future these will fuse so the evaluation of this week is uh, that I have made a plan for how I'm gonna revise the horror novel um, I guess I will still figure stuff out along the way but I will work with the store grid and see if uh, that can help me find new perspectives on uh, the story. Then when I eventually start to write again I will probably jump around between chapters and write what I feel that I want to write. Next week I will most likely continue with the book goal and uh, work with this structure but it may also be really really intense at work so we'll see what this week will bring and that is what i had for this week so if you like this video and the bullet journaling and all of it then please give me a thumb up and if you have any comments then please comment below and if you want to continue following my journey for reaching my four creative goals before i reach 40 then please subscribe Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.